Kamal Ghani Bayraktar. First of all, I want to introduce you as the co-organizer of this conference where we are here, Solar Heating and Cooling 2015. You are president of Günder, which is the association in Turkey, and you are managing director of Isujam. And I want to say you congratulations for an excellent event that you organized, a great gathering of research people, industry, in a very interesting region of the world. Turkey is the second largest solar heating and cooling market. So what were the drivers? The drivers first is uh, conservation, conservation, especially uh, money, economy for family economy. And the second is the comfort, uh, especially in the single family houses and some uh, multifamily houses, um, trying to ha receive, uh, trying to have hot water through uh, unpaid, let's say, uh, energy source of sun. So I think this was the beginning when you really had these uh, smaller thermosiphon units, which were very economic, better than gas, which was sometimes not available. I think your market changed a lot to very professional systems. Uh, exactly. It, is, it was the first, uh, let's say, uh, main uh, leverage uh, to have this uh, wide application of thermosiphon systems in the past how it started mainly comfort to receive that comfort and afterwards uh, right now the quality is getting increasing day by day and from thermosiphon systems uh, mainly drain bag systems and also started to integrate with space heating as well and in a short time we are going to have cooling system as well so who are the drivers? Is it the industry itself who is sort of going for these new applications? Yes, industry. First first step always, the main contributor is the industry. Uh, uh, trying to provide uh, correct information to the end user and also uh, to dealers and installers through the supply chain. And afterwards, uh, people understand the benefit of different systems and through these systems, they make their own uh, selection and also the industry with their uh, engineering design support and installation support uh, this also helped to the end user to easily achieve or receive uh, or access to install these systems in a short so what is uh, the role of Günda? I think probably you gather a lot of industry companies. How do you strengthen this process of professionalization in the industry? We are trying a kind of uh, trying to be a catalyst effect in this uh, respect. Uh, in our uh, association, the members are not only from PV industry, but also mainly thermal industry as well. In addition to that, we are having public bodies. What we are doing is we are trying to increase communication in between for the future of the country and for the future of the region as well. So this communication platform um, helps us to step uh, forward uh, in a uh, fast uh, and also short time. How, which role does R&D play in this respect? R&D is uh, mainly uh, playing the main role, I can say, because the industry needs that. And what we are doing is we are also trying to bring industry and also university and institutes, research part, academicians, bring them together to, uh, to help all, or to solve their problems, especially industry problems, and also the needs of the end users. So when they started to communicate together in different events, when they come together in the different events as well, like Solar TR or like uh, InterSolar Summit Turkey or uh, SolarX or ICCI exhibitions that we are all contributing, also in our training uh, activities, they started to discuss and also they started to uh, develop some projects, joint projects together with different funding schemes. I think you did a very international step as Günder, which was really successful. You became member of the Solar Heating and Cooling Program, which is an international network of researchers. So you became member last year and immediately you, you organized their conference here in Istanbul. What else are you looking after when you want to cooperate with this International Research Institute? Um, our first priority is right now uh, to uh, place um, appropriate um, researchers, uh, industrial representatives to e 
each opera, the each task groups, and also working groups in the uh, HSAC uh, program. And the second is uh, transferring all these uh, developments, all these experience, know-how to our industry, to our industries, to the industry of the region, uh, to industry, to institutes, and also to policymakers as well, because we need to strengthen all dimensions. Well, I wish you a lot of luck for all your projects. Thanks a lot for your interest as well.